THC treat inflammation. Inflammation is the immune system against against injuries, certain stimuli and against infectious agents such as viruses, bacteria or fungi invading the human body or an animal. Source term inflammation of the word fire, burning, burning. This is because the heat generated by lighting the place, and sometimes the entire body. The feeling of pain and a rise in body temperature caused when inflammation intended to cause the patient to rest and avoid vigorous physical activity. This body could spend most of his energy in fighting infection, inflammation while the immune system is required to produce millions of white blood cells at a rapid pace, which requires a lot of energy. Pain, especially in the area of infection, prevents the patient just shakes the region and contributes to faster healing of injured tissue. In addition, high body temperature contributes to killing microbes or slow down inactivity. Unfortunately, high body temperature also causes the body's own protein breakdown, which could be life-threatening, high body temperature over 5 degrees Celsius than usual can cause death. However, the body temperature by about 2 degrees higher than normal indicates the proper functioning of the immune system, and should allow the temperature to fall naturally, taking antipyretics such as aspirin or acetaminophen, may make it difficult for the immune system and prolong the infection and yet, if the temperature rises drastically, as mentioned above, there are certainly try and reduce it to get out of danger. In this article we'll look how treatment using active substance THC cannabis can affect and help in treating infections. THC treat inflammation. Inflammation can cause pain and a variety of immune system diseases such as arthritis, lupus, AIDS and various degenerative diseases. In addition, infections are a common side effect of cancer cases. THC found in many studies very effectively fights infections and excellent natural analgesic. The studies found that the active THC do this in two ways, one is that it promotes death of cells that attack the body, regulates the immune system, and the second drive traffic cellulose which was very important to treat because it contributes to motivate healthy cells and diseased body effectively treat various infections. In a study published in 1998 first recognized the merits of THC treatment of infections, the same study found that the active THC encourages mortality of inflammatory cells as found on crophagim and T blood cells. The study examined groups of mice with different infections received THC solution. Two days later, the spleen and thymus were the Hebrews and tested them lymphocyte levels so significant that the body's immune system and are part of the immune system in our blood. The researchers found thymus and spleen of mice a large amount of THC and great activity of inflamed cells death. So the researchers concluded that the active THC promotes death of cells that attack the immunization system during inflammation and encourage its reversal. 